the fifth. This is Victor Hovland at this 180 yard par three. You need to hit it crisply here. It's a kind of a forced carry as the green has a little bit of a 45 degree angle on the players. Oh, what a shot. Right on line. It's Victor Hovland is on the tee at the eighth, the defending champion. Kim is still 20 years old. Victor Hovland had an incredible warm up this morning. Didn't miss a shot. Beautiful shot for Hovland there. This is Hovland over at the eighth, trying to convert that beautiful tee shot to tie Fleetwood and Kim. And Hovland oh. grabs the edge. Yeah, toughest hole on the course today. Only one birdie. Pretty straight putt. Oh, and it dogged left there at the end. Wow. Yeah, he needed to get that right on the edge or hit it harder. Hundred and eighty five yards today and it holes cut right on the front left. Oh, that any good. Came back from I think he was six shots off the lead. Late in the final round last year. Correct, he got hot right in the middle of the round. Morikawa had that five shot lead through 54 holes. There was a lot of people that obviously got in the mix in a hurry with. There is the defending champion in the fairway at 13. The only man who has ever successfully defended his title here at the Hero World Challenge is our host. Man sitting in between Dan and Paul right now. Tiger Woods, oh, look at that shot from Victor. He missed his birdie at the 13th. Morikawa already missed. Victor Hovland. Oh, he misses too. Well, we've got Victor Hovland on the drivable 14th unleashing. It's 276 yards today. 307 on the card, so they brought it up some 31 yards. And Hovland oh, man, took a little shot. peek. Wow. <laughs> but that's changed. This I is mean, for they, Eagle. The, the caddies are such an integral part of what these guys do now. I know Stevie Williams was, mm -hmm. you know, all, most all every tournament I won was by a shot. You got to give your caddy credit. That mm -hmm. is a nice Eagle for Victor Hovland. That drive that took a little peek on the right side of the hole gives him the outright lead at four under on the tee over at the par five 15th. That driver out again here. Yeah, and he Eagle this hole on Sunday as well. Yep, he went back to back Eagles a year ago on Sunday. Get that over a hundred feet in the air. Also starting at the right side of the green, not turning over. And that golden opportunity has turned into a little more of a challenge now for Hoblin. Long bunker shot downwind will make this shot play easier. Caught that thin, sounded like it's gonna need to spin. It's a little check on it, not bad at all. No, he'll take it. He has really improved on it. You know, he might not be exactly perfect, but he's positive. There's no indifference in the stroke anymore. And that one drifts by the right. He says that he has. I thought their set of eyes sometimes to watch your setup. Upper left is Justin Thomas for birdie at 18. Hovland. Yeah, I could be right on top. Victor Hovland off the tee at the tough 16th. We've seen a couple mishaps from the tee here that have resulted in double bogeys. Oh, no. Oop, that's headed right. You just really got to get lucky. And you see what he's faced. That is a lot of guys don't like that. Here's the pitch out for Hovland at 16 that Woody talked about. Now you got to make sure you get that out of there. Didn't come out of there, did it? Not all the way. Boy, I don't think he hit it like he wanted to, but it starts the left and it's a good looking shot. Oh, what a shot that is. A lot of risk. Now it's 16 Hoblin to save it. We heard Tiger about talking about avoiding doubles. He's definitely done that. See if he can save his par even from that bad lie.
first bogey of the day for Hovland. And Tom Kim is the only player without a bogey in the field. Trying to hold that off starting just right. But the wind's got it now. And once it starts turning, it just keeps turning. But it's it, not bad. Is Koa the, the mini golden doodle in the house? <laughs> It was substandard, but it's really coming on of late. He's worked hard at it, and he's very comfortable on the greens. Ooh, when singed the edge, and it rolled by quite a bit too. But the wrong scorecard. Victor Hovland is trying to avoid back-to-back -back bogeys. It's a pressure putt when you have the lead. Nice. All right, so. Holland makes a bogey there. Victor makes his par, and everybody's stuck at three under there. Doesn't draw the ball naturally. His, his natural shot right now is falling a smidge to the right. It's easy to draw a three wood compared to a driver. Very low, right at that far bunker. This club should stay short of it, right. I think, but. Boy, I didn't think it was that far right. They're saying four right. And he's caught the rough, I believe. Not too bad. Get you a nice yardage for your third. Yep, exactly what he did. A little fat, but perfectly yeah. in the fairway. I used to tell players I could care less about the number on the next shot. What what club do you know you're getting out of here? Yeah, and that's, that's when you hit. Yep. Yep, good got good job there. Chance to save par. Just choke up a little. It's kind of three quarter. You chisel it because you are an artist with this club zinger. Well, so is he. That's a little long. You'd be disappointed. A little long of a chisel. Big putt here for Victor. Hang on to it. Share the lead. Oh, Got man. it. How good is that? Just the one bogey by Hovland. He staves off another one here at 18. That lone bogey coming at the 16th. 69 for Hovland, and we've got a four-way tie. Got off to a slow start today, plus two in the first four holes before he caught fire here with his tee shot at the par three fifth. Birdie for Hovland to get back on track. Par five sixth. Watch and listen. Slam dunk for Hovland for another eagle here at the Hero World Challenge. He's owned the 14th hole. That's up ahead. Yeah, yeah, see the modified finish. That one did float a little bit. See if he gets the carry out of it. Yeah, wind just ate it up. It's still all in all not a bad shot. On a challenging day, we got two tied for the lead, and they're playing together. Morikawa and Hovland at the Hero World Challenge. You know, personally, I really did love to spend time Back at eight, Hovland for par. He's able to salvage a three, and now he's got sole possession of the lead again with Morikawa's bogey. Hovland on the tee at the par five, ninth with driver. Went 632 just, yards. Yeah, it's howling right to left here. And that's a low one, and he gets that driver going, saying he can really hit it on a string. Well, he hits this knuckle-looking. <laughs> it's good to hear that because I think we all do it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Even the best do it. This is Holland second from 314 on the way at the par five ninth. Yeah, opting to lay up here, trying to just maintain the angle. Get a little too close to the green up the left side. It shuts the angle off to the hole. Well, I believe this was about the same yardage that he made. He dunked one earlier at the par five six. 65 yards for Holland here at the ninth. And dialing that one in within birdie distance. Get in, get in, get in. Wow, with the wind blowing off his right. A modified finish tries to start it out to the left and needs the wind to push it over just a bit more. Uh oh, oh, it didn't go in the sand. Hoblin at the 10th, one foot in, one foot out. Well, he caught that way out on the toe and maybe a little high on the face. Total miss hit. He'd have been much better off in the sand. Play a little bit of wind here. 
Mm. Wasn't able to get that one to go down. It's that kind of day here at the Hero. So Hovland will drop one here at 10. Victor Hovland off the tee at the par 5 11th, coming off his third bogey of the day. Get it to check up. He hammered this. Yeah, he got a big divot. You'd like to hit that without a divot if you can, but you'd have to love your lie to try yeah, it. Being king of the par fives, Hovland has parred his last two at nine and eleven. So a little disappointing for Hovland as he had that birdie putt. When howling left to right, water up the whole left side here. It's easy to bail out to the right. Hang on there. Yeah, that's understandable. Not a bad shot at all. Anything on that green, I think, is satisfactory. Yeah, it gives you an so, idea of how. Uh, this is hobbling from <laughs> long range at 12 to tee. Get that monkey off your back. Well, right? that means everyone's expectations of you. You know, your expectations are high enough when others are trying and to put the heat got on you. a little you. speed on it. Yeah, it just got away from a hair. These are the putts that give you trouble in this wind. No trouble there, though. Hoblin stays within two. Trap and squeeze that ball right out of the ground. This is 13. And Victor Hovland, he's trying to get to four under. And Victor, the defending champion. For today, the wind just cranking left to right. Look at the bushes in the background. It's Caddy, Shay Knight, Tom on the practice tee today. I said, boy, 14's been pretty good to you guys. He goes, yeah, I think we had two putts there last year. <laughs> yeah, he told me the same thing. <laughs> Well, he'll just he'll just hold that out for another one. No, no, Hovland with his second at the 14th. Yeah, he just saw Morikawa hit it inside six feet, so trying to best that. Got to get this to run out just a bit. <laughs> it just got a little close up there. Yeah, for birdie. So he still owns the 14th, even though he settles for birdie this time. Flighted shot right on line if he gets the number. Oh, got wow. <laughs> is that impressive? So Hoblin's got more eagle. He just has never been sure about how he's read the greens until he started aim point. And I think now he's just very definitive in the way he does it. That's unfortunate there, but going to be an easy birdie. Would have been his seventh eagle in his sixth round at Albany. It's a big carry over that right side. It Real is. Real big carry. Oh. Didn't make it. No, I don't think he did. It was close. He's got to clip this just right to get it over the lip. Uh, starts off right at the hole, wind pushing it just a little bit right. Oh my, God. Oh my goodness, that is just next level talent. Not everybody out here. Got some light rain falling in the area. Oh. Hovland thought he might have had that. And the rain is not so light right now. We've got one of those uh, vintage Bahamian squalls that has come through here. Yeah, it's like Hawaii almost. Now yeah, Hovland taps in, remains at six under. Wind has not moved it around too much today for Vic. This one's left. Okay. Tiger's presence always felt, and Victor Hovland would love to match him with back-to-back -back victories. He's leading, and he's in the bunker at 17, hitting his second. Mm. Uh, that'll test him coming back for his par. 
Back to four under. We go to 17. And here is that tester for Victor. Oh. Unable to pass it. So Hovland's going to drop a shot. He can't believe it. It's going to put him back down to five under par. With one hole remaining, trying to. Have that lead all to himself heading into the weekend, Dan. Frustrating bogey at the last hole. And he gathered himself pretty nicely, although he's giving it a little body English here. It's that and he, low, boring flight. What a shot. He cleared that bunker, and now he's going to have a real opportunity to get it. It's going to start this in the right edge of the green. Yeah, he's a hair further back than I thought he was going to be. And does just that, Zing, working back toward the pin, now coming just to the left of it. He trickles there right to the collar. Good shot. Really good shot. He'll straighten out at the end. Oh, oh boy. Never. That does a miss hit. Well, Seems see. like all the way. Now he's got plenty of work. Yeah, solidly done there. Got center. Keeps him just a nose out front of those four unders. Victor Hovland trying to make it back to back. Hero World Challenge wins. Setting up down the left, those ferry bunkers cutting it over to the right. Needs to cover on that line. It just Next did, John. It did catch Diego, the right part of the fairway. He is the current Olympic gold medalist. 137, perfect angle into this left pin. Flighting something down. Good looking shot if it's the right number, right at it. It was right at it, John. Hovland picking up where he left off. Oh, unable to take advantage of that second shot. He talked about that yesterday in his interview with us on Golf Channel about how. Sounded good on a good line. Mm -mm. Right over the flag. So good shot there hitting the screen. Here at the second, Victor Hovland for birdie. Long attempt. Just stays out. This is left, well left and turning over. It's probably not going to be on anything green. Got it out. Should be in the right side of the fairway, I believe. Just fine. Yeah, that's a nice play there. Back in position and uh, what you don't want to have happen is walk off of this green having made a six. Saw him extricate himself from the sand over there. This is 200 yards to the hole. Didn't see any mud on the ball, which is a good thing. Starting right, turning over. It was on a good line. Absolutely. It's like Houdini pulling the rabbit out of the hat and can give you a lot of momentum. <laughs> How about that four? That's just huge. I'm <laughs> telling you. He's looking at possibly five at best. And you walk to the next hole and put yourself right back into the lead. Just going to let it rip here. Wind might be helping just to touch off the left. I'm looking more on the left edge of that house today. Okay. All right. I don't see it. I'm going to run out on the right. He likes that tee shot a lot better Absolutely. than the third. Solid strike starting just left of the flag stick when pushing it towards it. Oh, nice. Victor Hovlin will have a birdie putt when we come back here to Albany. Help him race up the board. Speaking of the board, here's Victor Hovlin trying to tie for the lead at four. Okay. Boy, he is putting on a show with that putter. Very nice. Back to back birdies for Victor. Coming off two incredible birdies, 183, back into a slight breeze, left to right, more into him. This is a flighted six iron. Uh -oh. Come on. Come on. 
asking it to blow to the right. It's the center of the green. Victor Hovland, just off the green. Shouldn't affect the roll at all. Go, 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 go. Yeah, yeah. Oh. You well, said he's been hot with the putt. Yeah, nice call there, Wood. It did not affect the roll at all, especially the way that he's been rolling at these last three holes. Starting up the right, very low, trying to turn over. He carries that sand, should be good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right in the mayor's office there, so he's in good shape. Hard left turn here. Needs to get down. Oh, wow. It, it kicked it hit dead the, right. What did it hit? It hit one of the stakes. Catch ball first. Nope, a lot of sand first there. Uh, that is trouble, guys. So he will get relief from that drain, but yeah, that's going to be a tough up and down for par. Yeah, he's opening up the blade. I'm surprised. I thought it playing it like a real bunker shot and it's not going to go far enough at all. Played it, tried to get behind it, no, it didn't take a lot of sand like a normal bunker shot instead of clipping it. Rules officials do a great job week in, week out, but I think there are going to be a lot of players talking about playing it down today with all these mud balls we're seeing. Yeah, I, I would I would venture to say they're they're going to be really busy fielding calls, if not complaints from the players. And then you come to a par five, and, and a mud ball may cost you at least a bogey here, maybe more, very fast downwind putt. Good catch there. Yeah, no kidding. All right. Have some damage, but right part of the green is start point. Is headed right at our tower, right sit. of our just right of the green. Asking for it to sit. That took a hard kick forward, John. Now is in probably the deepest part of that collection area, just right of the green. Much simpler shot, you just have to judge it right. Take it up. Oh, yeah. that's so well done. Wow. That is outstanding. Well done. So great. 351 yard par four. He's been using aim point. Says he's been relying on this method and it has improved his putting. So that's the fourth birdie in the last five holes for Hovland. That we saw Cam Young have a nice save on earlier. Dan Hicks here with Paul Azinger, our 18th tower, watching the best in the world go at it. We sure are, and they are putting on a show today. It's dried out a bit out here, and look at this shot from Victor Hovland following up that terrific shot he played on seven. He doesn't like to ride the wind. And there it is. He loves it. Oh, yeah. Why Quick wouldn't he? Pick up. Perfect. Not many players in the world drive it better than Hovland when he's got it going. So yeah. accurate. His uh, needed that plus six. Nonetheless, we head over to Victor Hovland and John Wood. What's he got? 318 to the front, just laying this up, trying to run something down there. Playing it very low, I think, because he doesn't want the bun of the ball for his third shot. This is low and will run out and take any mud off it, hopefully. Perfect shot. Just 78 yards left here. These are fun shots to watch. A little sawed off looking. Not bad at all. It's so kind of a swirly wind today. Confident he can start it online, hit it at the right speed. The big change he's made is in how he reads greens. It looked like a good stroke, just maybe he didn't realize that it would veer to the right like it did. A little left coming back for Hovland to stay at eight under well, right there kind of is what he'd hope to improve on. He wants to be in that top 10 or 15 percent in that short range and back at the 10th. No mud on the golf ball right now for Victor. Asking for it to sit down. Oh, it's always good when the golf ball listens. 140 straight into the wind, a good angle. Just trying to fight an eight iron down. Good news was no mud on the ball, just right of the flag stick. And Woody, I've got a feeling where you stand on this uh, playing it down today. 
See if Victor can follow him home. Not that time. He's moved way up today, 35 yards. So he's trying to carry that bunker on that last bunker, headed right at it. Beautiful. We hadn't seen a ball roll like that all week. <laughs> you know, forehand, backhand. That's right. <laughs> when he putts. This yeah, is people hot. don't realize how many hours he spent putting. Uh, four hours in the morning, you know, right-handed. Four hours in the afternoon, left-handed putting. That's Hovland second at the 11th. Yeah, we hear all about, you know, Noda describing you through the years and how hard a worker you are. He was the 36-hole leader. He's seen Cam Young get past him, but come back a stroke with his first bogey in a long time. A couple 25-year-olds here going at it. Tiger, all these guys on the border in their 20s. I know when you came out on tour, you were the most motivated guy. You were out on the course watching him earlier as we shift over to 11 for Hovland's birdie. And he has now caught Cam Young, the two 25-year-olds going at it. Another birdie for Victor. Co-leader Victor Hovland off the tee at 12. You saw Colin Morikawa just make his fourth birdie in the last five holes to put some heat on the leaders. So yeah, he's now uh, tied with Scheffler at seven under. Be the best in the world at any job you do is, is you know, special. Um, here we have the ability to be able to be ranked. I don't know if you can see that, you know, the best surgeon in the world or here or whatever it is, best doctor, but, but we have the ability to, to rank our, ourselves here and around the world and around the globe. Yeah, it's kind of the artist versus the engineer, isn't it? Mm -hmm. like, Very good. Uh, the artist. straight downwind here, 900 for Victor. Just left of the flash stick, asking for it to go. His caddy, Shea, told me exactly what Tiger just said. He, he said he's just throwing all technique out the window this week. He's playing by feel. Oh, 100%. <laughs> Absolutely. He wears out the text chain he, with me yeah. and Zing. He, he no, no one watches more sports in the history of broadcasting. It's one of the cool things about this sport compared to some of the others. I remember Steve Stricker giving you a putting lesson on the practice putting green at Durrell years yeah. ago. I think that he has the, the all the talent in the world. And we see how good an iron player is. I mean, he just hit another one stiff. So it's just a matter of him, you know, making a few more putts here and there, and uh, he drives it on the string. The match. <laughs> <laughs> this is Hovland for birdie over at 14. And so Hovland will remain at 11 under. That he aims right. He has a little over the top move, which is kind of anti-hook. Another little buttery cut. That should be just fine. Yep. Second shot, par 515 for the leader, Victor Hovland. Going with a long iron here. He generally cuts the ball, but he's put a beautiful little draw on this. Is it at the flag? It sure is. Fantastic shot for the leader. Wow. So Chance he's for long. Eagle. After his second round yesterday, Woody, he said, I'm still not completely comfortable, or do I think I'm hitting it very well? And he is really coming to his own today, there's no doubt about it. He just feels, looks comfortable again, he's not searching, he's hitting a lot of fairways and a lot of greens, and his pitching's been phenomenal. Yet another birdie for Hovland, and this is a string of four in the last five holes for the defending champion. But with the wind down, should be able to handle it. Yeah, just, just a hair left of that bunker. This is perfect. Great feeling, Zing, to just walk up there and just release it, you know? Well, when Knowing a guy it's going to be good. Right, especially off the tee when you can freewheel like he's doing. And uh, the fairways are pretty wide and they're soft. Five top three finishes on tour since his Masters victory, but no wins. As he looks to become the number one player in the world again. This is Hoblin at 16 posing and that is another example of his ball striking skills. The same thing, he leads a tour in greens and regulation, missing six greens a day. You have to chip and putt. And right now, Victor Hovland's only had 19 putts through 15 holes, make it 20 through 16. And that is birdie number nine on the day for Hovland. Wow, what a heater he is on. Top tracer technology, the trajectory of this golf ball coming off the club face for Victor. I 
at the pin, moving a hair left. Oh, oh, good. Good. Well, when you're hot, just keep your foot on the gas and move forward. Okay. Just keeps cruising along. The lead is now four as he heads to the 18th. A man who is familiar with his golf course. Starting up the center, slight draw, beautiful tee shot. I was thinking that push left. Of and Shea Knight on the way over to 18 said to him, just keep playing, playing golf, playing the game like they talked about all week. It is just dead knuckling right of the green. Yep, Mud got him there a little bit. What do you have to think? He's going to have a decision to make with that next shot. Well, he might have missed his mark by about a foot, and that made about a six foot difference. And now he's got his work cut out for him. And that's a little unfortunate to put a bogey on the end of all this incredible play, but nonetheless, it's around a 64 for Hovland. Starts left, try and get the wind to bring it back a touch. And it did, John. That's going to be just fine. Moved Next all the way the across the field. Dallas, the fairway. Texas. He is the winner of the 2022 Masters. Happening after contact, so no issue there. Now, Victor. 136. Just a wedge. Green light to be very aggressive right out of the box here on a great line. Well, is it going to spin back enough? It oh. does get back onto the green. Just a little unfortunate that ball flew about a yard too far. Hold its line. Oh, it did, but it just didn't have enough speed. So the lead will remain three. Boy, that was tracking all the way. 20 of them already today on Golf Channel. And here is the leader, Victor Hovland, at two. 201 downwind, only playing about a 180 shot. If you carry it 190 downwind, it'll get to that slope where it's a down slope and kick it right back to the hole. Great line here. Yeah, land it right beside the hole, John. It's going to roll off. He's going to have an uphill chip. Or left is okay here. Just want to avoid pin high left, if anything. Good three wood right at the flag, turning over. Probably be just short, but in a really good spot. Yep, good spot indeed, Woody. Hoblin, who said he really didn't have ball on that last hole yesterday, which uh, didn't help matters. You know, being comfortable is uh, never a given for any player, especially after a night's sleep. Even Tiger said he's decisive now. He's very convicted, and I think he makes a lot more better strokes like that one. He says, I feel like I control today. Much less wind. Won't see many mud balls. They're back in control of their golf ball. I think you'll see a lot more aggressive play today. This is up the left side starting. And a little too far left there, Woody. Drifting just right of the flag stick. Needs to be the right club on that line. Oh, stay up or it's going down the hill. Oh, what a difference. Just. Oh, that's really well done. Great touch. Well done, mate. Don't stay on the ground in this stuff. It can bounce easily. Oh, that's really well done. Great touch. Well done, Oh, it rolled like a putt, like it was on a pool table up that hill. Felt even weight. If I felt like it was going a hair to the right, that was one degree into my instep. Two degrees was centered on my right foot, and three degrees was all the way to the outside edge. So it's different for everyone, but you kind of got to practice it and see what it feels like to you. So that's twice in a row now. Scotty's gone to the bigger, fuller shot and been successful with it. Pretty good one. This one looks like just over the stick. I'd like to win maybe one more big one of those, he told us earlier in the week. This is Hoblin at the fifth for birdie. Can he make another one? 
not this time, it doesn't appear, but very close. He had 23 putts yesterday, and he won putt in the first four holes. Hovland will very low one, too, but this is left. It's going to need to get down. How you doing? You better, right? Yeah. Good, thank you. And it does not. And we'll have to wait and see how that lie looks. Definitely cleared. Easy, and that's going to be okay. Coming out of that light rough. Just enough rough that he has to give it his full attention. That is well judged. Yeah, really good. Did he do it? Yeah. Yes, he did. How about that? A three and a four from the two gentlemen in the final group. And control it against that big wall of wind on his right. Boy, he has hit a hard, just a slight draw on a terrific line. Oh, he uh, let it ride. Beautiful. Oh, just up above that. Hopped twice before it got on the green, and that's Let's exactly play, what it needed to do. What a play. Boy, he was feeling it and showed us why he wanted to play that shot. It's a big decision the player has to make. The rest all one putts. There's a chance for another one putt. And there's your swing. And Hotland remains red hot with that putter. 31. Good breeze and left to right. This is four iron. Oh boy. Starting like at the flag, but you can push right by that wind like you talked about, Zinger. I don't want to be down there now. That is a nasty, That's nasty really area. Up. It's got a little sand. It looks like a pretty good lie, but when you get down there and look at it. Thanks, Thanks for being with us. We get you back out to the action. Victor Hovland, the leader at the eighth with this tough test, and I think he passed another one, Zing. What a test it was, and he definitely passed with four. He said, I wanted to be a better putter, so I got to aim point. I wanted to be a better chipper, and those are the two areas of the game. Hands at the top, they come out and over it a little bit. Inside and then over it, and there's this little buttery cut, but no cut. This is heading at that bunker. May need to get down. No, that's perfect. It does. That was never going to be in the water. Just don't do anything silly here. Keep this low. Try to get it in the fairway, and that's a little beautiful little punch shot. That is perfect. Absolutely in total control at the moment. And he'll have that next one down grain. It'll be up. Hero World Challenge, 111 yards left with his third. I think they all checked out this morning. There was about 1,200 people downstairs. <laughs> and that one is dialed in a little long. Yep, stuck like Velcro, didn't it? Nine greens in regulation, but he's three under par for the day because of this club. And he yep. buries another one. Mr. One. Victor Hovland has stretched that lead out now to four shots. Well, you hear that a lot. Swing, ball contact, and then Shea says beauty. <laughs> that was smoked. Whew. He's swinging his... 119 for Hovland, dead center of the fairway, starting left of the flag stick, trying to get the wind to bring it back. Get, got hit by a gust there and just came up short. Not gonna get there. No? A five-tool player in baseball and a three-tool player in golf. Yep. Victor Hovland, okay. Both men in that final group make their four and the lead remains four. Very good at hitting a little draw when he needs to. Boy, this is very low. Oh, he skinned it, I think. This might work out. Yep, that's a bottom groover special, and he totally got away with it. Would have taken it there in a heartbeat. 
thin to win. And now Hovland with his third. Another chance to look at his short game and chipping. Yeah, he can't let his guard down now. He's got a little cushion, but he has to hit good shots here. Keep the pressure on. Shoffley is red hot behind him. Oh boy. Oh. Hovland for his par. Here at 11. All right, it's a nice make there by Hovland, but Scheffler of golf growing up there. Amazing stuff. Six iron. Expecting to play a very smart shot here. But it's an aggressive line, just right of the flag. What a shot. Yeah. Just to the right of it. As he tries to make yet another birdie. You said it, Dan. I mean, sometimes you get 18 hours of daylight, but usually you don't. He's not one of those kids that got dropped off at the course and would chip around and putt around all day. He learned how to play golf on YouTube, and so it's no surprise. This is way left. There's a lot of room over there, but there's also some bushes. Yeah, we saw the ball bounce a little bit. Slipped so bad. You saw him digging in, John, with that right foot, and it did slip on him. Yeah, it did. This is right and going to be short. That's it. Damn. They gave it a wrap, and there you go. That was safety first. Exactly. That's exactly what that was, Paul. They're only playing defense this late on a Sunday with a four-shot lead. Well, you know, there's physically he's in good shape, but, you know, you still have those long walks between shots where a lot jumps in your head. And that's really what he's dealing with now. It's, it's the words that are going in and out of his mind. I can do this. He keeps telling himself, I and that is his first bogey of the day. So Victor Hovland drops back down to 15 under. He can't get ahead of himself, but he certainly knows his record on this hole. And I think the pressure to make a good score here is very real. One of the most accurate drivers on tour when he's got it going. Likes this one too, but I think it's gonna end up in a similar spot. Well, he practiced it on the previous hole, Woody. Maybe he can, uh, with the wedge, went right for the putter. He's done his aim point. This is tough to judge. And that is really good, I have to say. Mm -hmm. That was a lot. He thinks I should chip it. Well, you know what? I don't think so. I'm putting it. I'm going with my field. You have to do that in those situations. I totally agree. Nobody knows how you feel on the inside but you. Yeah, I think he knows his game. And he also knows a lot of the players have commented coming here to Albany. This is one of the toughest pieces of property to chip. Hoblin now left of that, but looks like a really good drive up the middle. Yeah, a couple of impressive drives. Scheffler and Hoblin. See him tried to hold that, but this is well to the right, even right of the bunker, maybe. Oh, in the bunker, that might be a good break. Sit. Ah, oh, boy. Sit. A little heavy. Not all bad. Not at all bad. Was that just slam dunked in the heart of the cup? Another one for Hovland. And when your caddy says beauty, when you haven't even finished your swing, that's usually a good thing. Another good one for Hovland. I agree. It's not a lot of mud, but we'll see if they guess right. Mud's on the right, they think it makes the ball go left. Well, it's on a pretty good line left of the flag stick. What a good shot that is. Oh, my goodness. Scheffler hoping he's got a chance for a one-shot swing in his direction. 
as Hovland didn't quite give this enough gas, and Scheffler will indeed have a chance to close it. Very solid par and make the guy trying to run you down, make a birdie on the hardest hole. This is well to the right, though, right edge of the green. He, too, misses the green. Well, well, well. It's hard to win golf tournaments, Zinger, isn't it? Man. It is hard to win. We'll see. Hobbling back at 17. With putter from off the green. Very tough speed read right there. Is there's a crest where it starts going downhill and speeds up. But that is so well judged. Great touch. Oh, that's what he wanted, Steve. A gimme. That's exactly right. I think he's been pretty comfortable the last two days. <laughs> I think that was the first two days where he really talked about not feeling. This is at that right hand bunker. Right. He needs to be short of that thing. That bunker is no good. Very deep. Oh, yeah. oh boy. Go hard. Go hard. Asking for it to go hard. Uh oh. Oh, oh my God. That's in the water. I couldn't tell where it bounced. Wow. No. It up and down for bogey. Come on, man. He's got a two shot lead. Scheffler in two in the right side. And is going to win his second straight Hero World Challenge. Thanks for watching the PGA Tour on YouTube. Watch another video right here.